Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your third week of April reading start from the 15th through the 21st of April 2021. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Gemini, so let's see what is coming up for Gemini for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading but no charms will be added, so stay tuned and uh, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's see how this week is going to be for the sign of Gemini. <coughs> let's see. <coughs> let's begin. The Emperor, Paraguay, Ten of Swords. The world, seven of wands, six of pentacles. Underneath the deck, we do have the Knight of Swords. Hmm. I do see that, you know, something is going to end in your life. Something, something. It can be something, it can be someone as well. Um, but there is something that is definitely ending in your life it can be a um kind of a connection it can be a connection it can be um a relationship it can be for some of you you might be losing your spouse during this time as well you know i cannot you know hide or i cannot keep myself from saying that because that's what i'm picking up here as well um for some of you you might have already lost the spouse uh partner whatever it whatever whoever it was and now maybe maybe if that has already happened now you would understand why it happened at first place even though I feel like, you know, you're still very attached to that person from the past, you know, somebody that you lost. Um, but still, you know, this, this connection that you, uh, you know, that you lost has made you who you are today. Like, you know, there is um, a shift that you went through after losing this person. Um... For some of you, it, it can be the death of an elder, elder member in the family as well. That too could have brought the shift in your in your life as well. But I feel like you know, this could be something to do with that. There is some sort of a, um, unpleasant ending that has made you who you are today. For some of you, this ending might be, you know, might be something that's going to happen during this week time. For others, you, others of you, maybe it has already happened. And now you can, you know, go back and connect the dots and you would understand why the universe made you go through from all that. Because that's how you were brought in a situation, position where you had to take responsibility of so many things which you wouldn't have otherwise taken. So um, I feel like you know it's gonna be maybe maybe it's gonna be just more of that energy where you are like you know contemplating and you know thinking and going back in the past and like you know re revisiting the past memories and stuff like that as well. But I do see that I cannot like you know I cannot say that no this is from the past thing. This can happen for some of you in this week time. For others of you, it has already happened. Um, if it's a it's a spouse or it's a partner that you have been with. I do see that you are still not over them like you know it's uh, you still have your ties connected to that one person um, whether you have somebody else now in your life or you don't the past person is still pretty much your the thing but having said that 
um, I do see a new beginning coming up for you in your love life. <clears throat> this new beginning basically wouldn't happen if if this wouldn't happen if this ending had not come in the new beginning wouldn't be happening because I feel like you know you were never ready to invest your time and energy into this one thing. You are doing so only because of this ending that has happened or it will be happening during this time. And it is one of the ways of the universe to make you go through it. Like you know, like I said, if this is not happening, then you are not becoming you. Then you are not, you know, having a new beginning with another person and um, you wouldn't be starting something that you are not ready for right now it's more like you know you are being pushed under some sort of pressure which is not like you know somebody else is pushing a pressure on you no it's more of a pressure coming from the universe you know things are unfolding in a way where you have to take that step where you have to take that uh, you know step of taking a new beginning or having a new beginning with someone so it will be different for different people. For some of you, it can be an elder, elder member of the family going away, causing you to go for, or you know, making you to go for, <clears throat> for uh, you know, um, a new beginning with another person here, uh, with the with the person here. Why? Because maybe maybe you are becoming the you know the the one who is uh, taking responsibility of the family now. So you need your partner to, to take care or take good care of the family. So that could be the case for some of you as well. For others of you, maybe it was the last wish of your parents that you they wanted to see you get married. So maybe that's why it is happening. And that's why you are taking, okay, fine, I will be, I will be going for it. Uh, even though you were not ready, even though you were not prepared, but that's how the universe has pressurized you and it is going to happen. Um, I feel like, you know, quick movement coming in, in your, that area for sure, when it comes to your love life, whether you have lost a partner or whether you have lost a elder member in the family, you are still going to go for the wedding thing. I do see you getting into that very soon. Um, I feel like, you know, there is a, there has been like, you know, um, this was the only way possible the universe would prepare you for this because i feel like you know, otherwise you have been very stubborn otherwise you have been very um much of a person who would do what they want to do and otherwise they would not like you know uh they don't like taking you know um dictator dictations from the from the people around them so you are first time and maybe the last time being submissive to what the universe has brought you because that's not you that's not you you were not prepared you were not ready for it but then you have to do it and that's what is happening during this week time is what i'm picking up um underneath the deck we do have the knight of swords underneath that we do have eight of swords underneath that we do have the three of pentacles underneath that we do have three of cups ten of wands two of swords I feel like, you know, you, you will still struggle to, to absorb that, you know, okay, fine, you are doing this, okay, fine, you're getting married, okay, fine, you are like, you know, taking your, um, you know, specific relationship uh, seriously, but I feel like, you know, you will feel the need to run away from it at times, but still you are going to go for it. So I feel like, you know, for majority of you, um, there is this person in your life that you would be getting tied to but then it's um it's it's not out of your um wish but it's something which which made you you know something happens that makes you go for it so let me take uh some clarifiers here
for some of you you could have been like you know uh, postponing your your re wedding for for quite some time because of the work pressures and stuff like that but now you are not going to do so any longer you are going to go for it um hold on so yeah let's take oracle cards now let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy i feel like you know for some time um you have been like you know ignoring this area of your life maybe you were like not ready for it maybe you had some um <clears throat> You wanted to pursue some other goals of your life but now it's the time when you know you're feeling the pressure to go for it so it seems like you know you will be uh you will be basically getting into a uh, connection where you had your passion but you were not ready to give your time to let's see you don't have to run away from it just embrace it whatever it is that you're feeling for this one person uh spend time alone in nature meditating about your desires and intentions and ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective seek guidance if you need uh while meditating pray ask in a form whatever it is that you desire you will be getting help and you know guidance from the uh from your angels for sure let's see Sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. I feel like it's time for you to unleash the spirit that you are and um, try to explore that what else can you do that you never felt you could do. Like, you know, look at this. You weren't, you thought that you were not ready for it and then the universe put the pressure on you and now you are taking care of it. So that's what is happening for you for this week time. Um... If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share if you're willing to get a personal reading. You can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.